Hello everyone and welcome back to DFM TV. I am Dan the Fire Stick Man, your source for entertainment. And did you know that Amazon is watching every move you make? <laughs> well, on today's video I am going to show you how you can turn off certain options on your Fire Stick that's going to keep Amazon from collecting data, from gathering information, simply so they can send you ads and kind of know what you're watching, what you're doing with your Fire Stick. I'm going to show you how to turn that off. I'm also going to give you a bonus because I'm going to show you how to optimize your Fire Stick to its full potential and how to update the Fire Stick to the most recent software. We're going to take care of all that and I'm going to do it as fast as possible. So if you just follow along and change all the options exactly how I do it, your Fire Stick is going to work to its full potential. So let's get started. And I want everybody just to hit the home button. It's going to take you right back to the home screen as you see here. The first place that we're going to go is going to be to the gear on the right hand side, which is settings. So let's work our way there. Let's click on settings and then go down and we're going to go down to the right to applications. I'm going to have you click on applications and the first one that you're going to see here is going to be Amazon Photos. Now, I'm going to click on Amazon Photos like so and we're going to turn allow guest connection off and we're going to access Amazon Photos. We're going to go ahead and disable that. Now, before you do it, I do have to mention two things. One, you have to do it in a specific sequence, specifically for this option, because if you don't do it like I'm about to show you, when you exit the application, this uh, feature, at least allow guest connection, is gonna turn back on on its own, okay? It's a little glitchy. It's happened on every single Fire Stick I tested. So I figured now it's part of how they do things, but I'm gonna show you how to turn it off and keep it off rather than turning it off, leaving, and then it turning back on on its own. The other thing I'm gonna mention is that I'm not going to be going over every single detail on every option that I'm turning on or off. As you can see, there's already information on the, little, on the right hand side here where you can, every time I'm highlighting something, you can see exactly what that feature and option does. So I'm gonna let you read over that. Right now, we're just gonna turn things off in order to keep this video short and sweet and simple. Now, how to turn this off. I'm gonna tell you what happens if you don't do it in the sequence that I'm gonna tell you to do in a second. This is the wrong way of doing it, which is just turning off, allow guest connection, going down, and then clicking on this, clicking disable, and this disable, notice that here, it kicked you back a screen, and you had turned up, turned off allow guest connections. But if I go back in, notice that allow guest connection is back on. This one is still disabled, but allow guest connection is back on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna enable. Okay, so I'm gonna go out and come back in like you're going for the first time, and here's the proper way of doing. First, you're going to go ahead and disable, where it says uh, access Amazon Photos. You disable that. It's gonna kick you back a screen on its own. You're gonna go back in, and then you're gonna turn this one off, and then you're gonna hit the back button. When you do, if you wanna double check it, you can go back in and notice that it'll stay off. This is the right, right way of doing it, okay? So hit the back button. Now, for those of you that on this section right here, you have an option called Game Circle. Okay, I used to have it, and for whatever reason with the update, Game Circle is no longer an option here. But for those of you that still have it, I want you to go to Game Circle, and I want you to turn off where it says Whisper Sync for Games. It's the only option there. You just click on it, turn it off, hit the back button, and get back here. For those of you that don't have it, don't worry about it. Uh, the new update is removing that from this section right here. You'll see, see you still see Game Circle on your Manage Install applications later, and I'll show you that in a moment. Let me go back out for one second. So hit the back button, and I want you to go down to Preferences. Click on Preferences, and then when it comes down to Privacy Settings, this is the big part that you don't want them you know, watching your stuff and everything that you're doing. And then we're gonna go to data monitoring to make sure that's also off. But let's go to privacy settings first. And then we're gonna go ahead and turn all of these off. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with device usage data. We're gonna go ahead and turn that off. Again, if you wanna read more on it, there's information on the right hand side. Um, but I'm just gonna turn everything off, click on it, turn off. And then the last one, click on it and turn off. Now they're all off. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the back button. And then I'm gonna go down to data monitoring. Make sure that this one's off, guys. This one's already off for me, so I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna hit the back button. I'm gonna go down to notification settings. This one is up to you if you wanna keep it on or off. It just sends you notifications about anything going on with any of the applications on your Fire Stick. I like to keep it off. I, I just check on things from time to time. So I'm gonna leave that one off. I'm gonna hit the back button. 
feature content. This is a huge one, huge one when it comes to the performance of your Fire Stick. What is feature content? This one I'm going to briefly explain. Feature content is on right now for me. I'm going to click on it. You see they're both on. Allow video autoplay and allow audio auto autoplay. So what is this? I'm going to hit the home button. You don't have to. You can stay right here. I'm going to hit the home button to show you what it is. But basically what this is, when you see those advertisements on the top, like The Walking Dead, I'm going to go up. If I just leave it alone, I get a preview of The Walking Dead, which I'm not going to play for a long time because of copyright. And that's why it was blurred it out. But that's what feature content is. It's just instead of just having an ad jump one after the other, like you just saw here, um, it actually goes into a preview of that advertisement. And that's where the audio comes in from and then the video part of it. So we're going to turn that off because that's constantly running in the background, constantly taking off bandwidth that you could be using for something else. So I'm going to go to back to the right to settings. Hopefully you guys are still in, in preferences. But I'm going to go down to preferences and go down to feature content. And this one you can just turn off on the first one, turn off on the second one. They'll stay off, not to worry. And now I'm going to hit the home button just to show you. I go up to The Walking Dead again. And now it's no, there's no video. There's no audio coming in. It's just going to go from this advertisement to the next. And that's what we want. That way it's not eating up your bandwidth. Now I'm going to go back down, back to settings. And I'm going to go this time, I'm going to go down to My Fire TV. I'm going to click on My Fire TV and I'm going to click on About. This is everybody to do. This is how we're going to update your Fire Stick. I'm going to click on About and you're going to go to the bottom and you're going to click on Check for Updates. Or some of you may say Install Update because it already has a downloaded an update. Some of you may have to do this several times on your Fire Stick in order it, for it to work. And this part I want to be detailed on because there are going to be different scenarios and I know my comments are going to blow up. But I'm going to go ahead and click on check for updates. If yours says install update, you're going to go ahead and click on install update. It's going to download it, install it. And if it comes back to this screen after it re reboots your Fire Stick, in some cases it will restart your Fire Stick. You're going to go back to settings. You're going to go to My Fire TV, go to About, go down, and you're going to click on check for updates. It may start downloading another one. That may take a while. Then you may click on install app and it may freeze. It may freeze when you click on check for updates. You notice that nothing's happening. If you have that situation, guys, what you need to do is hit the back button one time and go down to restart. Do not click on reset to factory defaults. Do not do that because that's going to clear up your fire stick. And that's only for worst case scenarios so when, when we're going to restart the fire stick. But right now, I'm sorry, worst case scenario to restart, reset it. What we want to do is restart it. So we're going to go ahead and click on restart and then click on restart again. And that's going to turn off your fire stick, turn it back on. When it reboots, you're going to go back into settings and, and you're going to go down to my fire TV and you're going to click on about and you're going to go down to check for updates again or install update. And you're going to repeat this process, repeat this process over and over again until you see that it says right there, your Fire TV is up to date. That's the key to knowing that your Fire, because don't go based off the Fire OS version that I currently have on mine, because I don't know when you're going to be watching this video, and I don't know which type of Fire Stick you have, and each Fire Stick has uh, a different OS. So you want to make sure that it you look for your Fire TV is up to date, and then you know you're done with this part. And any missing features or anything that... Uh, Amazon has done new to the Fire Stick will apply once you have the latest OS version on your Fire Stick. So, um, once you got the Fire Stick up to date, here's the last part that you have to do. You're going to go ahead and hit the back button a few times, or you're going to hit home, go to settings, and then you're going to work your way back to applications. Once you're over applications, you're going to go down to manage install applications, click on that. And now what you're going to do is you're going to go down the list of every single application on your Fire Stick. I'm only going to do a couple so you guys get an idea. But all you're going to do is you're going to click on the application. You're going to click on four stop and you're going to click on clear cache. You're not going to see anything happen. It's all happening in the background except for the clear cache. The cache is actually going to go down to zero. If you happen to have a 4K Max Fire Stick, when you hit the back button, that cache will go to 16.38 KB, which is normal, is the equivalent of zero for a 4K Max. Some Fire Cubes are the same thing. 
Um, every other 4K standard definition fire stick, they should go down to zero. But 16.3 KV is the equivalent of zero according to Amazon customer service. So um, you're going to go ahead and click on the next application, four stop, clear cache. Do not clear data on any application because it's going to clear out any credentials that you have in there like username and password and you will have to put all that information in, especially if you have Netflix and all those, you'll have to put your information in a second time. There's no need to clear data unless the application itself is corrupted, okay, which clear data will be the first thing and if that doesn't fix it, uninstalling the application, reinstalling it will get the job done. Worst case scenario is to actually do a factory reset on the Fire Stick. Okay, so I did the second one. And notice that those two applications, as they're built into the Fire Stick, it only gave me those three options. You know, and this one will do the same. Four stop, clear cache. There's only three options here. But in some of the applications that you actually download, like if I go down to, I don't know, background apps and process list, this will give me more options. But it's still the same concept. You're only going to click on four stop and to the bottom and clear cache, and that is it. And then you hit the back button and you move on to the next application. And you're going to run down the list, the entire list every single one don't skip any of them force up and clear cache and once you do that you have pretty much clear the cache on all your fire stick giving you back all that cache you you optimize your fire stick to work best performance by turning off certain features you um turn off the privacy settings so amazon um is not looking at your stuff and seeing what you're doing and in and, and data all that data you also turned it off so make sure that they're not collecting any data on you so they can send you advertisements so you took care of all that. Now your Fire Stick should be working a lot better than it was before. If you have any issues, any questions, or any comments, anything that I didn't do that you guys like to see on the next video, let me know. I know there are applications that will do the four stop and clear cache and everything, but I like doing it old school because I see that it performs better if I just go down every app. It only takes me a few moments to do, you know, rather than having an app do everything for me. But you know, follow these steps and your fire stick is going to work a lot better. Do not forget guys and do not hesitate to subscribe to my channel. Keep me up and running, like, share, comment, you know, on this video. And um, I'm going to keep moving forward for you guys. You have been watching DFM TV. I am Dan, the fire stick man, your source for entertainment. And until the next video guys, happy streaming.